Taj Boyd, Deshaun Watson, Trevor Lawrence. Those three guys changed the Clemson football program forever, and two of them were considered generational prospects. Watson had a great future in the NFL until some off-the-field issues came up, and Trevor is currently the face of the Jaguars. The next man up was a five-star recruit by the name of DJ Yui Angalale. Coming out of St. John Bosco, he was a five-star recruit, and after playing a little bit in 2020, was expected to be a Heisman finalist, one of the top quarterbacks in the country, and was going to continue the trend of Clemson getting to the playoff. Instead, DJ was terrible. Clemson had a down year for the recent standards, and right now they kind of have a quarterback problem. So, what is going to solve this problem? His name is Cade Klubnik. He is one of the best high school football quarterbacks of all time, in my opinion, is a pure winner and someone who is going to come in and change the Clemson program. In today's video, I want to introduce you to who Cade Klubnik is, talk about his story, what he could bring to Clemson, and I'm going to bring my friend Marcus from Sharp Sports over, and he's going to give you a quick scouting report and tell you why he thinks Cade's a big deal as well. But before we can get started with today's video, quickly be sure to hit that subscribe button as we are on the road to 100K, hit that like button for the algorithm, turn on post notifications so you never miss when I upload, and let me know another high school or young college player I could take a look at in my next video. Now, let's get started. So yeah, we're going to talk about Cade Klubnik, and if you want to watch all my videos about high school players or young freshman stars, be sure to click the playlist link down in the description or the comment section below. Let's get into it. In order to understand why Clemson football needs saving, we need to talk about their 2021 starter, DJ Uyangalale. He was a five-star recruit coming out of high school, and after he filled in for Trevor during the 2020 season, the hype was unreal for him. He signed close to a million dollars worth of NIL deals, was a projected Heisman candidate, and the favorite to be the number one overall pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. That is not how it went, though. He finished the 2021 season with 2,246 yards, 9 passing touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. He also had a QBR of 43.2, which ranked 97th out of all the starting quarterbacks. That is horrible for Clemson standards, and that is why their record dipped a little bit. The offensive line did not help him, but DJ looked scared, he looked like he wasn't ready, and maybe he had lost confidence. I don't know if it is because he let stuff get to his head in the offseason, maybe he had an injury we don't know about, a disconnect with the coaching staff, or maybe something happened in that Georgia game. But either way, it was a really bad year for DJ, and he is not guaranteed to start next year. Hunter Helms did get put on scholarship, but the Tigers would need a good quarterback signee for the 2022 class. So who did they get? They got Cade Klubnik, who is a certified winner and a five-star recruit. He's arguably the number one quarterback in the country, but let's first go back in time and see how Klubnik rose to this level. Going back in time, Cade Klubnik's goal was to always play college football. He first started to play when he was three years old, and his high school football coach had this to say, quote, my wife had him in school as a fifth grader, and she told me our first year here, you might want to wait till you retire until after this group gets through because there's a bunch of really good athletes and it's led by a guy named Cade Klubnik. When the kid was in fifth grade, people already knew he was talented. He eventually became a natural athlete, a leader, and a quarterback, and by the time he got to Westlake High School, he had some hype surrounding him. He said, quote, playing quarterback at Westlake has always been a dream of mine since I was in the second or third grade. That dream finally became a reality his sophomore year in 2019. He was in a three-person battle for the starting job, and while we did start a few games, he became the backup during the playoffs. You probably are familiar with Westlake High School, as they've produced guys such as Drew Brees, Nick Foles, and Sam Ellinger. He was next up. Club Nick was there as they won a state title in 2019, but 2020 was supposed to be his year. That would all get thrown up in the air because of all the events that went on in the world. Many wondered if high school football would even be played. Eventually, the season would resume, and he would get them to the state title game. In that matchup, he would go against Quinn Ewers. Klubnik would go 18 of 20 for 220 yards and three total touchdowns. At that time, some said that Klubnik was actually better than Ewers, and he had an incredible junior year. This is when the attention really started to take off. Going into his senior year, he actually got hurt, but he still balled out. He completed 71% of his passes for 3,251 yards and 43 touchdowns. It didn't stop there, as he had nearly 500 yards and 12 more touchdowns on the ground. But before all that happened, he was just your average four-star quarterback. So where would he go? Well, he had more than 30 offers, coming from schools such as Texas A&M, North Carolina, Texas, Clemson, and Florida. The Longhorns really weren't much of an option, though, as they had already had a commitment from Malik Murphy. He would eventually find his school, but it would take another top 2022 quarterback prospect to make that happen. Ty Simpson eventually committed to Alabama over Clemson, and that is when Dabo finally gave him his offer. To that point, 
Cade had not been offered by that coaching staff because Dabo admitted their guy was Simpson. Apparently, Cade really appreciated that honesty, and with how Dabo treated that situation, it actually made Cade more likely to go there. So, when he was offered, he decided to commit to Clemson, and the head coach was obviously a big factor. He said, quote, You look at Coach Sweeney, you look at what he's done, and I just can't imagine not wanting to go play for that guy. Just what he's done with the quarterbacks and so many players on the field. That's the type of coach that I'm just so excited to get to hang out with and spend so many hours with. I am just so pumped for that. It's the place I know I'm supposed to be, because God put me here, and it shows when I talk to every coach and every person on that staff. I love Clemson and cannot wait to get there shortly. Many still wondered how a Texas legend did not stay in the state of Texas and one sports writer said quote, really it was just good recruiting by Clemson. The Tigers lost out on Simpson and identified a really talented kid in Texas where two major in-state schools already had a quarterback commitment. That's what elite level recruiting is all about, identifying a need, formulating a plan, and then attacking that plan. Clemson is just so good at that. He was a legend in the state of Texas, and some said that he was better than Quinn Ewers, so how good was he really? He left a legacy in the Lone Star State. As one sports writer said, quote, the last two years, his high school football resume, he's become a Texas high school football legend. He led his team to two straight titles in the state's largest class, finishes out as an All-American in the All-American Bowl, and then throws three touchdowns in the game. He's a Texas high school football legend, and we'll see what the next chapter of his journey is. Not only was he a big time football player, but he was also a great leader and a person as Klubnik volunteers his time with Special Olympics and helps in youth sports programs. He also runs track and has an A average in every single class. The guy is exactly what you want at the quarterback spot, and combining that with his talent, Clemson is getting a great player. According to 24-7 Sports, he's a five-star recruit, the number one quarterback, and the 18th best player in the class of 2022. The hype has been pretty unreal for the last few months, but it's only grown over the past few weeks. He went and played at the Under Armour All-American game, and he threw three touchdowns and impressed everyone. Currently, he is now enrolled early at Clemson, and the hype for him is beginning to take off, and if he has a good spring, he could maybe take over for DJ. Now, I'm going to turn it over to my friend Marcus from Sharp Sports, and he's going to explain sort of the scouting side and what Clemson will be getting in Cade. How's it going, everybody? It's Marcus over here at Sharp Sports, and let me put all your Clemson fans on to Cade Klubnik, your top quarterback pickup in the class of 2022. The 6'2 and a half, 186 pound quarterback out of Westlake High School is ranked as the sixth best player in Texas, the number one quarterback in the country, and the 18th best recruit in the class of 2022. Cade, to me, has every single tool that you would want in a quarterback i mean look, look at the kid he's able to he's able to rip it and and absolutely take off down the sideline has definitely a above average speed the one area that I, I see he doesn't have compared to maybe some of the other quarterbacks obviously he could do a good job of putting the ball downfield but as far as really pushing the ball downfield that's where he could definitely improve some but i mean the ability to make throws on the run the ability to just throw guys open especially his his mid-range game is definitely where Cade really shines his, his ability to be able to find guys in that 10 to 20 25 yard mark is really where Cade absolutely shines and then every now and again he could just throw it over the top top for you Cade cut Cade Klubnik is definitely one of the top quarterbacks in the country and Clemson I know things might not have been working out with DJ, but Cade Klubnik is coming right behind him, and he definitely has all the tools to succeed at the next level. I mean, just be able to move out of the pocket, break some ankles, be able to tuck it, run, and just go get the first down. Let's go. Cade Klubnik will bring a little bit of everything to Clemson. He's a great leader, had tremendous stats in high school, won a lot of games, was tremendous off the field, has the natural talent and athletic traits, and scouts love him. Right now, there is nothing that people don't like about Cade, but we will have to wait and see how he does at Clemson. Once a player gets to college, stars and rankings mean absolutely nothing, and it's time for them to perform on the field. We saw that happen with DJU this past year, and I'm excited to watch this quarterback battle from spring to fall. If Dabo Sweeney thinks that Klubnik gives him the best chance to win, he will be starting come week one. What do you guys think though? If you're a Clemson fan, what do you think of the quarterback situation? What went wrong for DJU this past year? And if you're a fan of any other school, give me a recruit, a quarterback battle, or any young player I could take a look at in my next video. Before you go, be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Smash that like button if you want to support today's video. Check out Marcus's channel and all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.